What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday I posted a video talking about literally thousands of Modern Warfare players receiving permanent bans for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And Infinity Ward has yet to make a statement about this or Activision, um, but I'm gonna link the video down below in the description in case you guys wanna go check that out. But pretty much there were not hundreds, but literally thousands of players that were banned on Modern Warfare over the past 24 hours. And I've talked with a couple of you guys to try and get to the bottom of everything in my live stream yesterday and also in the comments of one of my videos I posted yesterday and just the players who were banned were pretty much your average Call of Duty players like myself. I'd ask, okay, well, have you tried any wall breaches? Were you toxic inside the game? And a lot of the players said a no, which I thought that might have been the reason why because during Infinity Ward's Black Lives Matter movement, um, they made it a point to state that there's no place for that type of behavior or any toxic behavior for that matter. Matter. And also, again, Infinity Ward is on this campaign to uh, try and eliminate hackers. And I thought maybe their in-game system just went a little bit haywire. Um, but some of these players, they all said, no, I don't use the in-game chat to talk. I, I talk on Discord or I just always play with friends in a party chat or I mute everybody in the game. So that wasn't it either. But then I did a little bit of research and I discovered over on the Modern Warfare subreddit that user Petro Games posted heat mapping images of one of his recent games i'm gonna have it on screen for you guys right now but take a look on the middle left and right parts of the map it's showing that he's actually outside of the out of bounds zone except he's not i'm gonna have a few more other heat mapping images playing for you guys right now but one thing all of these have in common besides areas that showcase the players outside the map is they are either on a scrapyard or cheshire park which are the two most recent dlc maps to make its way into modern warfare so for some reason when Whenever players are like hugging the far outsides of the map, mostly on the left and right side middle areas, the system just thinks that you're wall breaching to go outside of the map. So this is my new number one theory on why a mass ban of players occurred. The in-game security system was probably triggered whenever players played on the most recent maps because it's programmed to detect if you're getting kills in places that are not marked locations on the map. And again, this mainly applies to those who wall breach. This security system is mainly built for them. Um, but if you're inside those two uh, maps and you happen to hug the left and right sides of the middle parts, then it just thinks that you're getting kills on the outside of the map, if that makes sense. So um, again, that's my new number one theory, and I'm going to stick with that for now. But Infinity Ward has yet to make statements on a why this actually happened. Um, but as of now, actually, as I'm recording this video on a July the 9th, a lot of players are actually getting unbanned from Modern Warfare, which is pretty dang huge um, because they do have a very strict policy policy on um, on banning once you're banned there's absolutely no way to revert that you can't appeal it once you're banned you're banned and you're done you lose everything but players are signing back into modern warfare and they're getting their camos back they're getting their cod points back all the stuff they bought from the in-game store so it's really really nice to see that and if you and if you are one of those players who happen to have been banned then maybe try signing into modern warfare today and see if you can get your account back because there are a lot of players that have been unbanned since now there still are a lot of players who are banned. The ban hammer was not entirely lifted. There still are players left inside the Gulag, and it's up to us to keep letting Infinity Ward and Activision know about this, which, like I stated in my previous video, I'm making this for that same exact reason, just to do my part for some of the players who may not even know anything about YouTube, Twitter, or Reddit for Call of Duty, and they were just banned for no reason, and they have no idea where to go to, or even any idea of what's going on. So I'm trying to do this for those of you guys and uh, yeah hopefully infinity ward and activision uh, make a statement regarding this soon because i personally am just curious to know really why the exact reason people got banned but i don't even know if they will even speak about this they may just go silent and let it all blow away in the wind anyways guys i'm probably going to be streaming again talking about the massive ban wave and uh, that will probably be my last video discussing the subject so i should be going live around noon time if you guys want to come hang out thanks so much for watching let me know down below in the comments if you either were banned or unbanned and also check out the heat map of your most recent games on callofduty.com and uh, tell me if you guys were on the outside of the maps thanks for watching love you guys so so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see you later